we want to determine the antiderivative of x to the two-thirds with respect to x, or the directions may say evaluate the indefinite integral with respect to x. We want to determine a function or family of functions that have a derivative of x to the two-thirds. To do this, we'll apply the power rule of integration given here. So to determine the antiderivative, we'll add one to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, and then add a constant c. So for this problem, notice that n is equal to two-thirds. So we'll have x to the two-thirds plus one divided by two-thirds plus one plus a constant c. Well, two-thirds plus one is five-thirds, so we'll have x to the five-thirds divided by five-thirds plus c. But we can't leave it in this form. Remember, a fraction bar means division, and dividing by five-thirds is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this would be three-fifths x to the five-thirds plus c for our antiderivative, which means if we determine the derivative of this, we should get x to the two-thirds. Let's check it. Well, the derivative of three-fifths x to the five-thirds would be three-fifths times the derivative of x to the five-thirds, which will be five-thirds times x to the five-thirds minus one, that's two-thirds, and the derivative of a constant would be zero. Well, these are reciprocal, so that's one, which does give us x to the two-thirds. So we did find a function here that had a derivative of x to the two-thirds. Let's take a look at another example. Here we want to determine the antiderivative of the square root of x with respect to x. Just like when determining derivatives, we need to rewrite this as a rational exponent. So we'll have the indefinite integral of x to the one-half with respect to x. So now we'll apply the power rule of integration. So the antiderivative will be x to the one-half plus one, that's three-halves, divided by three-halves plus c, but we can't leave it in this form. Dividing by three-halves is the same as multiplying by two-thirds x to the three-halves plus c. So again, the derivative of this function or family of functions needs to be the square root of x or x to the one-half. So let's go ahead and check it. The derivative here will be two-thirds times the derivative of x to the three-halves, which will be three-halves times x to the three-halves minus one, that's one-half. The derivative of constant is zero. Notice we have reciprocals again, so that's one. So we do have x to the one-half or the square root of x. This is our antiderivative because this function has a derivative of the square root of x. We'll take a look at more examples in the next video.